So today we're going to be talking to you guys about um, colors and why we use modifiers. When you're shading a client, the color tends to heal truer to the color you are implanting. When you're hair stroking a client, so when you're doing microblading, that color that we're implanting is closer to the vascular system, so it tends to heal a little bit darker, a little bit more on the ashy side. Now, not every client that you're working with requires a modifier. Certain skin tones are pretty neutral and they're okay, but there are certain skin tones that are really cool. They've got really cool undertones, and so we need to modify our pigment to cancel out those undertones. Let me explain to you. If you were taking your color and you were to put it on a plain white canvas, it would heal exactly like the color you put onto it. But we're taking a color and we're putting it into a canvas that already has color. So I'm taking this light brown and I'm putting it into my client that maybe has cool blue undertones. So if I don't take into consideration those blue undertones, let me show you how she's gonna heal. Here's my pigment. So here's my light brown. Now, Here's my client's blue undertones. So if I don't take into consideration my client's undertones and cancel out that cool blue, this is how she's gonna heal. She's gonna come back to me really ashy, right? Because the color I'm implanting is really close to that vascular system. She already has color in her skin, so I need to take that into consideration. So now, let me show you what happens. When I take my target color, so here's my light brown. Mix it in with my client's undertones. So here's her cool blue undertones. Now I'm gonna take my modifier. So to cancel out that blue, I need my red. So I'm gonna take my modifier and I'm gonna mix that right back in. Now watch it turn right back to the color I originally wanted. When modifying, don't over modify. So if you were to take a toothpick, I want you just what you would pick up with at the end of that toothpick, that's what you're modifying with. Modifiers are really strong. If you over modify, over time, when our target color starts to break up, this modifier is gonna be left behind. So when they come back to you for the yearly, they're gonna have a really warm, undertone left on the skin if you over modify. So we don't want to over modify, but we do need to make sure that we're using those modifiers on our really cool skin tones because of this example right here. So my color on a plain canvas turns out beautifully. My color mixed in with my client's undertones is going to heal pretty muddy. My color, my client's undertones, and the right amount of modifier is going to heal perfectly. Now remember, when we're looking at healed results, skin undertone plus pigment plus depth equals healed results. So if you're going too deep, even if you have the right modifier or the right color, it's going to heal ashy. If you're going too shallow, it's either going to completely heal out of the skin or heal orange. So too deep ashy, too shallow, warm, you have to hit that sweet spot. So let me say that again. Client's undertone plus your target color, so plus your pigment, plus your depth equals healed results.